Hey guys, it's Creme Brulee, and welcome back to Sensation SMP. So, I'm just as confused as you are. I actually came on the SMP a little, like, two days ago, a day ago, and saw this, so I was like, okay, I have to go off because I'm not recording. So, just a few things that I want to clear up before I start this episode. Um, a couple of people have asked to join the SMP, and I'm not in charge of it, so you have to go to... It's Kitty or Jelly Jam's video, and they have an application form that you can um, fill in, and you can try and become one of the members of the Sensation SMP. And another thing is, I want to thank you all for the support for this series so far, and I'm going to continue doing it. So, in the last episode, I built this house here, and I said I was going to furnish it, and then I also have to go mining, as you can tell. And so that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be furnishing the house, and we're also going to put a couple walls up in the house because it's very open. And also, we are going to go mining for iron, and hopefully we can get some diamonds maybe. But I am literally just as confused as you are. There is redstone everywhere. I don't know what it means or if I'm going to keep it. But we have some presents here. So this is from Peach Blossom. And... We got some pumpkin pie and some pumpkin seeds. That's sweet. I actually saw some pumpkins over there, so now I'm not going to have to go and grab them. And now, cute craft. So here it says that she was walking, and there was a creeper, and it exploded. So we're going to have to fix up the house a little bit. <sighs> so here's my doors. <laughs> And part of my floor. Thanks, Cute Craft. And then open on camera. So from It's Kitty, we got three diamonds. <gasps> what? Some lily pads and some flowers. I'm gonna use these diamonds probably for an enchantment table because I need to get the silk touch pickaxe up there. And I want to find my own diamonds. Make sure to open on camera. Love jelly. <gasps> Three more diamonds. We have six diamonds, guys, and a bunch of flowers. And actually, my favorite flowers are the oxidaisies. Um, I don't know. There's something about them. I, I love daisies. So I'm going to go to bed quickly in here just so it becomes morning. So something I also noticed is this place is infested with creepers. We get a lot of them. Like, my house is blown up probably, like, three times. I haven't seen the sign, actually. What is all of this on the floor? A dead zombie. Oh. We've been pranked. <sighs> Guys, if you know who did this, we have to prank them back. It's the only thing we can do. I'm going to have to clean up all of this. I wasn't sure if it was um, zombie blood or if they were supposed to be like rose petals or something. <sighs> Alright. So first off, let's collect these chests and signs. And we're going to have to fix my house because it's going to bother me. And look, it goes all the way back here. There's a lot of death at my house. It's really sad, actually. The only thing I n never want to blow up is this bridge over here because it's, like, kind of complicated to make. I really don't want to redo that because I have no idea what I did. To everyone that gave me gifts, I haven't given any gifts to anyone, so I think I might. All right, so let's fix this. Did a creeper blow up in here... Yes, it did, because the root fences. Okay, I have more repairs to do than I thought I did. Okay. I said that we were going to go mining, but I think before we go mining, we're going to have to collect some food, because I've been living off of this zombie flesh. So we're going to go collect some food, and then we're going to head out and go mining. And then afterwards, we are going to finish up the interior of the house and make it look pretty and livable. So right now I'm heading back to spawn, and I watched Jelly Jam's video, and she said that spawn has changed a little bit. So before she showed everyone, I had to click out, so then I would be able to see spawn for myself, and see like if 
whatever changes have changed. And so we're going to head to spawn and kill any animals we see on the way there and collect kind of just the food we need. And I also need to start a farm with all the animals because I keep killing off a bunch of animals and they don't spawn near my house anymore because I used to have a bunch. But yeah, I kind of got rid of the population of all animals because of me starving. Oh, and this is going to be, this was the cave I was going to go down, but I guess someone already went down. Or I think I did. I'm not sure. But we're going to head down and see if we, if we can find anything. Something also I may want to suggest for spawn is if command blocks are enabled because then we could teleport to everyone's houses because I don't know where almost anyone lives. I've been to like Kitty's house and Jelly Jam's house and I don't think I've been to anyone else's. But yeah, here's spawn. I don't see anything different yet. I don't know, maybe it changed upstairs. She said it changed, so I'm gonna see. Okay. Did they actually? <laughs> I'm not even kidding if they added. Com they did! <gasps> no way. That was just a thought. I didn't know they did that. That's actually really funny because it was like if they had command blocks that um, teleport to the house, it'd be so much easier. And I think that for the staircase, it shouldn't be a staircase because it is painful to get up that. So I think they're still working on that. Whimsia's house, Caitlin's house, Cute Crafts, Krem's house, Peachy's, Peachy's house, Pe Peachy, yeah, Peachy's house, Anna's, Crystal Moons, Chumpkins, I don't know if they've made houses, that's probably why, Chumpkins, Kitties, and Jellies. Oh, I hope there's going to be like a back to spawn then, because that'd be annoying. Hello, chickens. And I don't think anyone was added. Oh, and we've got an enchantment too. Okay, I'll come here for enchanting, I guess. What's in here? Oh, I can't open it. Oh, I might not be able to enchant. Okay, that's cool. Okay, wait. I want to see if the teleportation stuff works. Let's go to Jelly Jams because hers is close. Oh, yeah. See, it worked. That's so cool. All right, I want to try and go to my house because I want to see where it teleports you. Oh, whose house is that over there? All right, now we're going to head to my house, which is fourth. Oh, perfect, right in front. That's honestly, like, the best idea. Because I also, before we started recording, like, the first episode and stuff, I said we should have, like, some kind of subway station or transportation system to make it easier to move, like, get to everyone's houses. So that's going to help a lot. Okay, Oh, okay. I didn't know this was a cave. Alright, I don't have any torches. I feel like this may be a good cave or a bad cave. Okay, there's some coal down there. Alright, I don't have any food, but I think we can live off the zombie stuff. So, this is really deep and I don't like it.
So I'm back guys and I didn't do very much uh, re well decorating or anything but I'll show you what I did. All I really did in my room was I added, I moved my bed over here and added, you know, made it bigger, put a chest here and some trap doors as well as downstairs I added a table and that's pretty much it. All my chests are down here and I don't know what to put in this big space here so if you guys have any ideas on what to put here that would be greatly appreciated so it's not so empty. So that concludes the episode for today guys. I hope you enjoyed. It was actually really long for me to record because it took like an hour to mine. I'm not even kidding when I say an hour. I was mining for an hour and I'm actually really happy that I ended up finding diamonds and so yes yeah, so hopefully it's not too long but if it is then enjoy the whole long episode so I want to thank you guys very much for watching and I hope to see you guys next episode bye